So to design your boxers you needed four numbers. First, number one was your hip in centimeters. Number two was your rise. For number three and four we had to do a little math. For number three, which is your one to two, it was half of your hip plus ten centimeters. And for number four, it was half that number. So once you get those four measurements, we're ready to start. You're going to use five different rulers. We're going to start with the meter stick. You're going to use the centimeter side and you're going to put zero, the beginning of the meter stick, up where number one is. And then you're going to measure one to two will be your third number. So half of your hip plus ten centimeters. So for me that number is 59, so I'm going to mark it at the top of the paper and call it number two. So step one is done. Now for step two, we're going to use the L ruler. We're going to put the narrow end of it up at the top and we're going to make sure that it's parallel, nice and even with the top edge of the paper. And first we're just going to draw that line. Just draw it about two-thirds of the way down. At this point we're not going to measure it. And then flip it around and put it up to number two, making sure it's all even, parallel with the top edge of the paper. Draw it about two-thirds of the way, just approximate. And now we're going to take a small plastic ruler and measure it. And that amount for step two is going to be your rise. So for me, that is 22. So I put the zero of the plastic ruler at the very top by the one. I mark where my 22 is and I call that line four. Then I go to the other side from the two, I put the zero at the top. I mark my number, which is 22, and call it three. So two to three and one to four are exactly the same amount. Now we're on to step three. We're going to do one to five. So I'm going to use a small plastic ruler, and one to five is the same number as your fourth number, half of your one to two. So for me, that's 29, so I'll put zero at one at the top, mark 29 and a half, and call it five. Now I want to square that line. It's the same practice. Line up the L ruler, the narrow end at the top, and just draw that line down. So now to finish this step, um, this next step, which is step four, uh, it's got to be the rise amount plus 15 centimeters. So for me, my rise is 22, and if I add 15 to that, that would be 37. So I put zero up at the top, and I mark where 37 is, and call it six. So, so far we've got one, two, three, four, five, six. So now we are on step five. Using what's called a hip ruler, you're going to line up the short end on the line below the three, and you're going to draw a line across five centimeters. And there are centimeters measured on this ruler, so you can use those. You can measure and draw at the same time, and call that line seven. And now you're going to turn the ruler the other way with the short end up, line that up to that line you just drew, the three to seven, and then draw it down your rise amount, 15 centimeters. Sorry, not your rise amount. Just draw it down 15 centimeters and call that eight. Now you're going to do the same thing on the other side. So put the long end against the line below the four, line it up and you're going to draw it 10 centimeters and call that nine. So three to seven was five centimeters and four to nine will be 10 centimeters. And then you're gonna square that line down. So line that up and you're just going to square it down 15 centimeters. Actually, I'm going to draw it because the numbers are backward on this side. So I'm just going to draw it and then use my plastic ruler and measure that it's 15 centimeters and call that 10. So 7 to 8 and 9 to 10 should be the exact same amount. Now you're going to take the meter stick and you're going to join 8 to 10. Now hopefully 6 will intersect right in the middle, but if it doesn't, just move your six so that it's exactly at that intersection. Now mine worked out well, and sometimes they do, but sometimes they don't. So we did step five, which was squaring a line at three to seven, and then we did step six, which, which was squaring it down 15 centimeters, 
Then we did step seven, which was four to nine, squaring it across 10 centimeters, and step eight, which was squaring it down 15 centimeters, and then joining eight to six to 10. So we are now on step nine. We're more than halfway done our boxer design. You're going to find the halfway point between nine to 10. And nine to 10 is 15 centimeters. So the half of that would be seven and a half. So using your plastic ruler, measure seven and a half, call it 11. For this next step, put your pencil where number 10 is and measure over one centimeter. Just make a little mark. And then use your ruler again, turn it the other way and measure down three centimeters from there and call that number 12. So 12 was over one from 10 and down three. And now I want you to join 11 to 12. And while you're joining it, measure it. You'll see that it's about 10 and a half centimeters. So that number I want you to put over where number eight is and mark, put 10 and a half where eight is and mark it up here at the zero and that will be your number 13. So 13 to 8 and 11 to 12 should be the same amount, although the 11 to 12 is on an angle. And then I would like you to join 6 to 12. So it's angled, but it's on purpose. Okay, and now you are almost ready to finish. We're going to draw the curves. So the first curve is the front curve from 3 to 13. So you're going to take this hip ruler, I've got clear ones or this, this white one, you're going to have the curve hit 3 and 13 at the same time and trace that shape. And then move it to the other side and you're going to join from 4 to 11. So again, have the curve hit and touch 4 and 11 at the same time and then trace that curve. So basically, your boxer design is done now, we just need to label it. This line in the middle, this five to six, that's your grain line. I want you to draw an arrow at the top and an arrow at the bottom and just write in grain line, G-R-A-I-N-L-I-N-E. -I, -I, I want you to put your name on your piece as well. I want you to write a big B here, this is your back. Then do a small CB here for center back. Put a big F here, this is your front and a small SCF for center front. And then just write um, anywhere in the middle here, cut two. So now we're going to cut this out. You're going to cut straight down here, continue on this curve down. So you're cutting from one through to four to 11, then from 11 down to 12, we're ignoring the 10, from 12 up to six, six up to eight, 8 up to 13, and then the curve for the front, 13 to 3 to 2. So you're cutting that out, and you won't need this here, you won't need this here, and you won't need this here. So cut that out using paper scissors, and then you're ready to cut out in fabric.